This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. So we had a gas leak on this line here. You can see it's welded over there into the main line. Now this is a branch line and there was a coupling here and it was leaking on the one side of the coupling that didn't have a lot of dope on it from the original install. This could have been leaking for years. This building is about um, eight, nine years old and it's kind of in the middle of the warehouse and you have to get really close to smell it. An electrician was working around here and he smelt it. We verified the leak was there and we came and we cut the section of pipe out. and we replaced the section of pipe along the straightaway here. We added an isolation ball valve for the future because I believe every branch line should have an isolation ball valve. And then we threw in a union here in case we need to take it apart here, we're good to go. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the gas back on here. We're gonna purge the gas back at the heater over there, get the heater running, and then we're gonna purge the rest of the machines because we shut down the main gas valve to the building because we were on the main line and we had no isolation. So we shut the main gas off to the entire building. We got to go purge the gas back to each machine and make sure it fires up. All right, so we did get the gas purged back to this. Not a problem. We're going to leak check our union, but the fan motor is dead on this unit heater, so it went off on high limit. So we're going to shut this one off until we can rectify the issue and let's go leak check the rest of our work. We'll let that soap get in there for a bit. One thing I gotta bring up here is one of my pet peeves is when people leave clumps of dope on their fitting. Now I always take a rag and wipe the dope off so it's nice and clean like that. Um, that way we don't have clumps of dope there. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. It looks like we're leak free on this entire system. We're gonna get these units started back up and move on with our day. Happy HVACing.